UStreamRadio.com Live from Atlanta, let's talk with Jay Jackson. No PR, key cards, it's all unscripted Candid questions, don't get caught out of position This is bullshit, boy I'm talking about red carpet All star studded, while you gossip, we flossing I'ma tell the truth, come clean, be honest I'm just looking for a big Georgia peach to harvest No need to speak if the money ain't the topic So cut it, keep it locked right here, tune in and watch it Sundays, 14 What's going on, it's your boy Jay Jax I'm here live in the land, you know Brought to you, of course, by YouStreamVideo.com Now, I got a pleasure and I'm honored to be here with the one and only, my man Creep. What's going on, brother? You the man. Definitely, definitely. You stream, Diamond K, Jay Jackson, y'all the man. Hey, we really appreciate it. I appreciate you taking out your schedule. I know it's crazy and everything to sit down and chop it up with us and everything. But I want to talk to you. I want to get into it. We got a little lot of time, but I want to get into it and stuff about the projects you got. But let's start from the beginning. Because, I mean, man, you done did a lot of things. You know, uh, brought out a lot of music and stuff like that. I want to talk about the whole transition because uh, when you was doing the tapes to the albums and stuff like that, how was the transition to the music that you got going on there and stuff? Well, it was actually kind of weird because I had I was in the game before, mm -hmm. as you know, and then took a break. You know, family, my son was born. You know, I had to take my daughter, my wife. You know, the family thing. I came up with family, and I got to build my family up. So, but. Um, you know, I took that long break for years, and then getting into the game now, I had to find a lane. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because it, it's just different. It's everything, with social media, internet, and all that stuff. So I had, I took my time, and you know, I, I wanted to get back into it, but at some point, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know how to. Mm -hmm. So then I just found a way to start cracking through that that barrier, and um, you know, now I'm just getting through it and and just so happened my son yeah. young ceo mm -hmm. you know, is, is you know the first i mean well not the first artist but the artist of the label man i mean i, I want to get into it because you were able to weather the storm and be able to still make relevant music mm -hmm. which i definitely appreciate and everything i mean what was the strengths how were you able to stick to it how was you able to stay true to it really um it, it took a little bit of stubbornness, me mm -hmm. saying I ain't gonna make the <laughs> beats like what's going on right now mm -hmm. or whatever. But although it's some hot beats out there right now, but you know, but I wanted to also keep it a little, uh, you know, a little hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because again, I was talking the other day. You don't even hear a lot of these artists on the radio right now saying hip hop. They don't even use that term. You mm -hmm. know. So I mean, I'm, I'm hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, and that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to have a whole bunch of lovers out there that's going to love what we're doing, and it's going to be a bunch of people out there who don't like what we're doing. But you know, we we doing what we love, mm -hmm. and I'm sure it's going to be some people out there that love what we're doing. Man, I mean, you got to say the production, the music, J. Will. I mean, man, the the, the boy sees. I mean, I got to say that and everything. Um, give a lot of credit to Pops and everything, but. The way you bring that music and that content and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to get into the new project that you got going on, mm -hmm. which is crazy and everything. Let's talk about that and everything. What, what, what came up with the title? The mixtape? <laughs> yes. Oh, the mixtape, uh, sometimes when I come up with these titles and stuff mm -hmm. like that, it's, from the, it's straight from the heart, you know? Mm -hmm. And like I said, you know, the, the, the title of the new mixtape series is It Just Got Real. <laughs> so. We're gonna we we going we gonna make it happen. And you know, as far as my son, you know, like I said, he got in. I mean, he, oh, you know, he he blew my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, when we first started, I mean, he 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 was on, and I was like, wow, all that time, my talent was mm -hmm. right here. You know what I mean? He's talented. Him and his brother, and his sister. But him and his brother, you know, they're talented in a lot of different things. They race dirt bikes and all that stuff. But. Mm -hmm. It's, I guess, you know, I came up with Dirt Bike Job, yes. know that, and then, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's my son, so, you know, they, they want to do the same thing pretty much, so. Man, I, I just got to, man, from you being able to break music overseas, uh, being able to put out artists, I mean, one of the first that I was say in that area, uh, our uh, K Capri in that DMV area, mm -hmm. uh, being able to bring out tapes, bringing artists, mm -hmm. 
onto the tape and everything. How, how was that whole experience? I mean, let's start with the overseas and then experience about dealing with some of the artists on the tape stuff. Well, we, we almost got to start it the other way, though, because it was like, you know, I was DJing gotcha. at first. And it was funny because, you know, you remember all of us coming mm -hmm. up, Diamond, Kenny, you know, all of us, you know, we were coming up. And it was just like at some point I wanted to go to another level. Mm -hmm. You know, I, lo I always loved mixing and everything, but I wanted to go to a different level. And that, di that other level was production. Mm -hmm. So I started doing production. And, um, you know, it, it was funny because we were using a, a, a childhood friend of ours, Jay Funk, Funky Ave, mm -hmm. um, you know, his studio at first. And then, uh, but I was having fun making tracks. And then it was like, okay, now I need some artists. How am I gonna mm -hmm. get my tracks heard? So then from there, I had, um, you know, known K Mac from, you know, we grew up together and we went to school together. And, you know, I heard a lot around that he was rapping, he was pretty good. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go holler at him. So I went up there, holler at him, told him what I was trying to do or whatever. He said he was in. Then I was like, you know, I, I I I need one more artist, and just so happened my people's, and now I was my people in the village, then my other people from uh, Yale Heights was like, and DJ Hurricane, I don't know if y'all remember him, but he was like, yeah, um, I, I know um, an artist, and at first, really, Silhouette was rolling with him, but then, in a nutshell, he introduced me to Silhouette, although I already knew her, but I didn't knew she rapped, mm -hmm. and then brought her in, and then I just started doing, um, you know, intros with them on it, because you know, I was already doing the mixtapes, mix yeah. right, and then started putting them on the intros, and then from there, that was like a, a powerful marketing tool to move on to the next thing, to have them, because they were all, always solo artists, so I started doing the K-Mag thing and Silhouette, you know, separately, and then, you know, the Annex thing came up, and, you know, um, I, you know, Wiz came in with us and everything, and, you know, we just took it from there, but, it's, as far as it going overseas, shout outs to DJ Spin back in the day from 92Q. Mm -hmm. He used to play that uh, silhouette, Can You Feel It, a lot. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's back and forth overseas and he was over there playing it. And then people, there was a demand for it. So I started shipping promos over there to them. And then from there, all these years later, people were still looking for the music and everything. And it, it just, it, it went from there and, you know, selling overseas and all that stuff, so. Man, you know, from, from from that early time and everything, coming out even now, you were doing the branding thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, starting out, being able to take a chance on local indie artists, mm -hmm. putting them on the tapes, making them relevant, building their market and everything. Um, that was something big. A lot mm -hmm. of people, labels was moving like that, you know, not DJs for right. the most part and stuff. And I, I take my hat off for you for mm -hmm. going into that and everything. Right. Now. Let's talk about the productions. I mean, you, you, you're a man of all, you're a renaissance man in the music business and everything. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of this production that you're putting out, and I want to get into the street tactics and everything. Okay. So, what, what, tell me a little bit about the production that you got going on, the musical content. How can anybody, if they was trying to get with you and stuff, how can they get with you? Well, they can definitely uh, hit me up on Instagram or my son or management, Ed Nice. Um, and you know, and they can get with us through there, or even you guys, you stream, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, and you know, they can go, I'm, I'm at uh, DJ Concrete um, on Instagram, and uh, Twitter, Real DJ Concrete, or Street Tactics ENT at gmail.com, or our website, creekproductions.com, and we also have a website for other uh, producers up and coming, and they just, Put their tracks on there on our site it's called hiphopbandit.com so you know we definitely looking out for the up and coming the independent and like i said i'm not afraid to play an up and coming artist on my mixtape that's mm -hmm. what i do you know what i mean i'd rather support them than the big guy already you know what i mean big guys already big so you know but that, that that's how we do it i mean you always one thing i can say about you uh, is you always took a chance on artists Mm -hmm. You always was able to play that music and bring that awareness, and you're still doing it in the business right now, mm -hmm. um, putting them on the mixtape. So you heard it, you have an outlet, somebody out there, the beats, the music, everything you need, Creep is doing it. You know, I want to I wanna ask you before we get out of here, because we always talk about that, who do you think, because I know you come from the music, <laughs> right. who do you think 
was one of the hottest artists in the game. I, I got. I, I always wanted to sit down. Uh, let's let's do this. Biggie, Tupac. Biggie. Biggie, Tupac. All right. Um, Jay Z, Big Al. Big Al. Oh, we we gonna keep I'm, I'm, I'm keep seeing. I can tie you up. Um, let's see. Um, Big Daddy Kane, LL Cool J. Big Daddy. Ooh, okay. Um, you know I'm asking him because he's a DJ. I, I, I always I had to get him his schedule. I had to get him his clutches in. If you want me to say the obvious, I, yes. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to. I mean, I, I, I like everybody who y'all said. I do. I like them, but again, I mean, I said what I said, and I mean what I mean. But I mean, I like Ella. I, I really do. I'm a fan of Ella, uh, you know, and all of them, but it, 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 it is what it is, is right? You know, what I, mean? you know I, I, I had to trip them up, you know. Y'all know why and everything. I had to go into it and stuff like that. Now, before we get out of here, one more. I got to hit you with one more bonus. House producer, DJ Premier. DJ for me. Right. Hey, I gotta, I gotta agree with you on that. I gotta agree with you on that. Hey man, it's a pleasure and an honor. Hey, the crazy. No problem. And uh, before I bounce, okay. definitely check out my son J Will. Definitely. Uh, his mixtape coming up uh, later part of July. It's called I Don't Want Fans, I Want Believers. Wow. Shout outs to Quay for the hot. Street Tactics gear. My other son, he's the design of the gear. Shout outs to my wife. Um, and, you know, we're going to continue to do things. You know, big things. Shout out to Ed Nice, Omar Little, Leek Nass, Sam Needy, Knockville, uh, you know, all that. U Stream, Jay Jackson, Diamond King. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to do big things in the future. Man, I got to say, family business. I mean, hey, Creed always do it. You always keep it relevant, man. Hey, you don't get no better than this. Oh, and shout out my daughter, Tiara. I love you, baby. <laughs> hey, make sure you tune in. It's your boy, Jay Jackson, here live in Atlanta. We really appreciate it. It's a pleasure and honor, Creed. We got to get you back, man. Big shouts out there to my man, Jay Will. Hey, make sure y'all check it out. Make sure you holler at him about the mix season. It's coming out. You don't can't use no excuses no more. You have an outlet. It's your boy Jay Jackson. Peace. Ustreamradio.com